everyone, look right over here at the screen. Make sure that your hands and feet are still and that you are ready to hear all about God's mighty power. Moses heard from God in the burning bush and was given directions to go tell Pharaoh a message from God to let his people go. So we're going to say the bottom line, but I want you to say it with me in your most powerful voice. Say it with authority. Here we go. Today's bottom line is let my people go. Say it all together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Let my people go. So he and his brother Aaron delivered the message to the king of all of Egypt. Remember our series, Pharaoh, Pharaoh? I should have known. that happened again. I should just remember this by now. Well, what the brothers had to say didn't matter much to Pharaoh because he didn't even know who God was. Egyptians worshiped all sorts of different gods, so the God of Israel didn't really matter to him. Aaron and Moses wanted the Israelites to stop working so they could all go to the desert and worship the one true God. Why would the Pharaoh allow them to stop working? Pharaoh decided to make life hard for them. Things kept getting worse for the Israelites and they were getting frustrated with both Moses and Aaron. The more they talked to the king, the more work was put on them. God explains to Moses that he has heard their cries. Exodus 6.1 says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to the king of Egypt. I will use my great power against him, and he will let my people go. Because of my power, he will force them out of his country. Moses was afraid that he wasn't a good enough speaker, but God would use him. With God, it is not about our abilities or our inabilities. It's about being available and open to God. Well. God had a plan to show the people of Egypt who he was and just how powerful he was. God said that he would make the king of Egypt stubborn. Then he would do many miracles and show his power. The king would still refuse to listen. So then God would punish Egypt terribly with 10 plagues. Wait, what's a plague? Thank you so much, helping hand. A plague is an incredible event that often causes harm, kind of like a disease spreading. These plagues would happen to the Egyptians. In Exodus, it talks about how God said he would not treat the people of Israel the same as the Egyptian people. He said, by this you will know that I, the Lord, am in this land. I will treat my people differently from your people. He is showing his power is more than any magician that he is the only God. Moses went to Pharaoh and told him to free God's people, the Israelites. Let's say today's bottom line, let my people go together on the count of three. One, two, three, let my people go. But Pharaoh was still stubborn and he refused. The plagues began and God would show his mighty power. The Nile River was turned to blood and every animal inside of it died. Still, Pharaoh would not let the Israelites go. Next came frogs. Bayside kids, I'm talking thousands of frogs. Can you imagine frogs everywhere? They came out of the water, they covered the land, they were in your socks, and they were in your beds, in their dishes, and they were jumping all over you. God can even use frogs for his plans. Again, Moses and Aaron warned Pharaoh. He still didn't let them go free. 
God sent gnats and he sent flies, but still Pharaoh remained stubborn. God made all of the animals sick, yet Pharaoh remained stubborn. Yet the Egyptian people and the animals were covered in painful sores called boils. But still, Pharaoh would not let God's people go. Then God had Moses warn the people that God would send a great hailstorm, a storm unlike any other that Egypt had ever seen before. The storm was great and many people died, but still Pharaoh would not let God's people go. Next, God sent locusts, these crazy bugs that eat every bit of plants in sight. Do you think Pharaoh listened? No, he did not. Pharaoh would not let God's people go. Then God sent darkness to fall all over the Egyptians. It was so dark, the Egyptians could feel it. They could not see anyone or anything and couldn't go anywhere for three days. As you could probably guess, Pharaoh remained stubborn and would not let God's people go. God had one more plague to place upon Egypt. This was the 10th plague. We're going to talk more about it next week. God knew that by causing these plagues and making miracles happen, it would be the only way for people to see how great he is. Bye for now.